It all started in the um, late 40s, early 50s, uh, when people thought about the idea of using uh, the fusion process, which is, you know, what powers the sun and all the stars, and bringing it to Earth as a practical energy source. And one of the things that they understood is that it required very, very high temperatures, hundreds of millions of degrees. You obviously need to keep it isolated and insulated from ordinary matter. Um, and it turns out that magnetic fields provide very good insulation for this super hot plasma. Here at MIT, there was a, almost an accidental synergy between the physicists who wanted to do fusion and a group of engineers uh, right across the street from here. And they were experts in building high field magnets. There was a breakthrough, and the breakthrough actually was contemporary. It was in a different branch of physics where they discovered a new class of superconductors. And these go by the name of high temperature superconductors. Well, industry patiently worked on that for years and years and figured out a way to deposit it as a thin film on a, on a metal substrate. We decided here at MIT that it's worth a try using that new conductor as an engineering material and building high field magnets for fusion out of it. And that launched our, our project. Time is really our main enemy here because the planet is getting warmer and the urgency of finding a solution is just increasing every day.